Sir, but uh, your party is still seen as the Hindi heartland party. You have not made inroads in Kerala. Now you have four MLAs in Tamil Nadu, 25 MPs in Karnataka. Apart from the state that we are in right now, there's not been much inroads for the party in the last eight years, since 2014, almost nine years now. So what's the road uh, for you to get into this southern part of the India? Like, what's your road map? Uh, for that, I have to take a little bit of time to just go back when the Janasang got founded. And uh, in Tamil Nadu, at least for my state, when I talk, it was not very rooted there. Like, like in other parts of India, how Janasangam was rooted. It was there, leaders were there, they are trying to do their best to convince everybody. The same time, the Dravidian movement, 1917, the All India uh, Backward Classes movement started. 41, the Dravidian Kalagam came. 49, the Dravidian Munetra Kalagam, DMK came. Uh, 57, DMK contested the first election. 67, they came to power. So, they were at least 35, 40 years ahead of the Janasang when it entered. In fact, the first president of Janasang in Tamil Nadu was a Christian, Dr. John. John was our first president. The Goa struggle, all those things were happening where Tamilians went and participated there. I'm just bringing this history on the table. When, when BJP got founded, uh, 1980, then the first MLA in BJP was in 1996. 1996, we got one MLA. So you can understand the trajectory of BJP where we are coming. So there was a huge gap even before BJP was able to establish roots where DMK was in power multiple times. ADMK was in power multiple times. Very charismatic ministers. You had Dr. MGR, you had Jailalitha then, you had Annadura, you had Kalingar Karnadadi. People, life like big figures. So BJP, the two main growth we have seen is Atal Bihari Vajpayee era, 98, 99 to 2004. Then the Narendra Modi ji era from 2014. Of course, the regional parties have a head start. There is no doubt about that, but we are catching up. And we all want to do democracy the way we want it. These regional parties have become Parivarvat parties. If you look at it, Tamil Nadu, Chief Minister, Son is a minister, son-in-law controls, chief minister's sister is an MP. If you look at the chief minister's family, directly, indirectly, four or five people, they hold a, hold a constitutional position. Fourteen families in Tamil Nadu, they are in the third generation now. Either the son is a minister or an MP. The same thing is in TRS in Telangana. But what BJP we intend to do is, we want to build our party in a democratic spirit. It might take some time. We don't want to take shortcuts, but we are there, we will reach there. It's a matter of time. In fact, I'm quoting the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, Mr. M.K. Stalin, saying the BJP should not think every state votes like Gujarat, the whole country is not Gujarat. So they'll find it very difficult to win even a single seat in Tamil Nadu. No, this is not first time it is being uh, said by Mr. M.K. Stalin. His father, uh, Kalingar Karnanadi, about 30 years back, he made a statement, where is BJP? I see one person here, I see one person there, I see one person there. Exact Tamil, the English translation is at it. This is when BJP had about two MPs in the parliament. He made a statement, BJP can never mark, make a mark in India. That point of time, he was the chief minister also. Now, from two, we have gone to three, not three. From a few states, we are 18, either by ourselves or with an alliance partner. The same thing will happen in Tamil Nadu also. It's a matter of time. The moment MK Stalin G is speaking about it, it means that he has taken us seriously. In the assembly, day before yesterday also, he said, if BJP is opposing it, it will be good for DMK, I'm doing it. So, a party like DMK, which never uses the word called BJP in their lexicon, is using the word called BJP daily, criticizing, arresting our karyakartas, putting them in jail for a social media post, criticizing us. That itself means BJP is on the growth path. Would it be, wouldn't it be difficult for the BJP to take on all the regional parties if DMK, BRS, JDS, all of them come together? It would be regional versus the national party. Would it be difficult for the BJP to even get into the Lok Sabha seats there where regional party sentiments are much stronger? So the way I would answer this question is I would take a roundabout way to answer it. I would say you got to invest in leadership, sir. Uh, for national parties, for a long time, what has happened is the state leaders were more like managers. Just before, I think, Amit Shah ji in the morning session, he was talking how Virendra Patel ji was removed in a state here when Congress was in power for... Rajiv Gandhi was, G was here and the airport, they asked him, do you want to change Virendra Patil G? He was on the flight, even before the flight landed in Delhi, Patil G got changed. That is how most national parties treated their leaders in India. 356, changing, not allowing anybody to settle, because the Parivar Vaad in Congress was more powerful. But if you look at BJP, we are investing in leaders now. Because in our party, there is a system, nobody can hold a term for more than three years. If you look at Kalingar Karnanadi, 38 years he was DMK president. 
Now, Stalin G has taken over a couple of uh, years back. Next 20 years is good to go. If you look at all the leaders, they run it for 30, 40, 45 years at least. Jalalitama, more than 20 years, president of a party. But in national parties, what happens? Three years, you have a president, then again three years, next guy, again three years, next guy. This right or wrong is a problem in southern part of India because you are taking on big leaders. For example, you imagine my plight. I am coming in as a state president, I have to take on and give a statement. When they make a wrong, I have to criticize a leader who is 35 years above my age, who is multiple time chief minister, who is 25 years in the power, and they have all their MLAs who are third time, fourth time, fifth time. We have hardly two, three MLAs who have third time or second time. So the reason I'm trying to tell this, it will take time. So BJP, we are investing in leadership. We are giving them a long arm. We want them to settle down, get established in the roots. Only then they can take them on. So BJP will never make the mistake of Congress. Congress had leaders as more like a, like a China cup. You change them, you change them, you change them. But Tamil Nadu, it's a long investment we are making, right from district presidents to the mandal president. You will see, it's a five to 10 year journey. Tomorrow morning, nothing is going to happen. We want them to be fighters, be in the ground, take on issues, echo the Tamil sentiments. If we do the process right, five and years, we are there.